So in this video, I will demonstrate how to get the XK K110 helicopter to work with the Spectrum DX8. Um, and I believe this will work with any Spectrum or perhaps any 2.4 gigahertz protocol as well. So just to demonstrate the helicopter functioning, um, using my DX8 over here, um, I will just make some cyclic inputs. Uh, the helicopter is in hold mode. Um, collective pitch right here. And the hardware that you need to make this work is, of course, the helicopter itself. And I will be using my DX8. And the brains of the operation here is this iRange X multi protocol unit, as well as a uh, DSMX receiver. So how this setup works is the DX8 sends its signal to this DSMX receiver um, and you can use any DSMX receiver as long as it has a uh, PPM output. Uh, the PPM output is then connected to the multi-protocol unit using this cable here and the um, multi-protocol unit transmits uh, a protocol which is Futaba's foot protocol to the um, K110 helicopter. So in order for the multi-protocol unit to communicate with the K110, there is an extensive bit of programming involved. Um, not only do you have to physically connect hardware, uh, but rather you also need to hook it up to the USB of your computer and upload uh, various bits of software and firmware. So the hardware connections are as follows. Just flip the protocol unit to its back end and you will see there are there's a, there's a port here for uh, header pins. So your connections are as follows. The first pin is your PPM signal wire. Your third pin is your battery power and your fourth pin is your ground. And this all connects up to the transmitter's PPM output port. Um, and this side over here, I just soldered a Dean's plug and this connects directly to an external battery source. So the later models of the iRange X have a uh, bootloader already pre-installed. Uh, some of the older models do not have that installed, so uh, you will need to install a bootloader yourself. Um, there is plenty of documentation on the internet as to how to do that, um, and I won't be covering how to install a bootloader in this video. So to begin flashing the firmware, you will need to download a few files. The first one is a software called Flash Multi. And after that, you will need to download the um, multi module uh, file, firmware file as well. Um, I will have all these uh, links put down in the description below so you guys can find it. Uh, but what you need to do is just select the module that you have, and in my case, it's the iRange X. And these are just um, the file filter so that you can find um, which one, which file is suitable for your multi-module. Um, this channel order I found is rather important um, just because if you don't select the correct one, your channels will be mixed up. Um, and in this case, you would want to select TAER, which stands for Throttle Aileron elevator rudder and that's the channels um, in that specific order. I think by default it is AETR which the aileron, uh, aileron and elevator are the first two channels and then you have your throttle as your third channel. And um, this is the file that I have downloaded. So to begin the flashing process, just open up the 
Flash Multi program. Browse for your firmware file. And then connect your module to the USB. You will get the, uh, the flashing red light here. Go back to your software. Select your serial port. And write module. And after you're successful, you will see the green light has turned on and you have a steady flash or a flashing red light rather. And you can just unplug that from the USB. Additionally, you will also need to install the Maple driver for the um, multi-module so that the computer can recognize it. So this is in the same folder as the flash multi, go into drivers, and just double click on install drivers. Your next step is to download the Arduino compiler um, and that's in software downloads um, and the uh, Windows installer if you're using Windows and I have it already installed right here and then the next step is to download the code for the multi-protocol transmitters um, and again, this will be linked down in the description and you just download it um, and I have it saved right here. You go back to your Arduino program, open it, and you find the file called multi-protocol and it'll open it up over here. And go into this corner up here, find Uh, config.h and this is your configuration file and this is where you can make the necessary configuration to get the uh, multi-protocol unit to work with uh, whichever whatever you're communicating with so these are the configurations that I have made to this file just keep scrolling down So to select um, spectrum, you would get rid of the slashes um, and that would select spectrum as your transmitter. And then keep scrolling down. Um, you also want to make a note as to which protocol you are using because this, uh, this code has several protocols that is available. Uh, the one that we are interested in for this helicopter is the SFHSS, which is the Futaba protocol, um, and it is on switch eight. So when you go physically to the I range, um, you would select this knob and point it down to position number eight, and that would select that particular protocol. The next thing I have edited here is the number of PPM channels. Um, I left this as default minimum number of channels to four, um, but the maximum number of channels is eight because I'm using a DX8 and it has eight channels. Um, if you have more channels that you want to use, you would subsequently change this to the amount of channels. So before you can proceed with uh, uploading the code to the multi-protocol unit, um, you need to install the board so that this compiler can recognize it. So you would go to this page here. I will have this linked down in the description. Copy this link right here. Go back into your Arduino compiler. Go to File, Preferences. Paste it into Additional Boards Manager. Press OK. Then go into Tools, select your Boards Manager here, and then I will type in Multi 4-in-1 to find this one here, Multi 4-in-1 Boards Package, and click Install.
plug this unit back into the USB. So go into tools, go select your board as the multi four and one. Go into the port section, make sure that the USB port is the correct one. In my case, this is COM5. On the bottom right corner here, you should see that it is connected to COM5. And you are now ready to upload. It will compile first. and it is done then you just disconnect your USB so the final step is to bind the transmitter to the DSMX receiver and then the uh, multi protocol unit with the helicopter so the first step is to um, bind the spectrum to the DSMX receiver um, first you grab your blind, uh, bind plug and put it into the port, bind port. Power it on to put it into bind mode. Then turn on your spectrum transmitter. Go into the bind menu. Okay, so now the bind complete um, will produce a solid light on the receiver. And now the next step is to uh, bind the multi protocol module to the helicopter. Um, also remember to remove the bind plug off of this unit as well. Um, place the helicopter into bind mode. And at the same time, press the bind button and power it on at the same time. Okay, now the helicopter is bound. So I'll zoom in here. The helicopter is responding to my uh, DX8 transmitter. And those are all the steps in getting the Spectrum to work with the K110 helicopter.